credit is just like any other investment. If you don't nurture it, if you don't invest in it, then it's always going to be bad. But the thing is, your credit will pay you back. What if we could work together and go get it? What if the racist police won't kill us? What if the fatherless sons had a father? And what if we took the time to teach our daughters? What if we pulled our brothers out the mud? What if so many of us won't lock up? Could you imagine? What if, what if, could you imagine? Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Shaq the Shark. Right, I'm down here in Miami. Big chillin'. I wanted to get on this video to talk to you guys about ways you can make money just from having great credit. Like, I know a lot of people, like, if you were anything like me at a certain point, when I had challenge credit, I kind of ignored my credit because I knew it was bad. So I didn't pay any particular attention to it, you know, because I just felt unqualified. But the reality is this, credit is just like any other investment. If you don't nurture it, if you don't invest in it, then it's always going to be bad for the most part. Like you actually have to nurture your credit, invest into your credit. But the thing is your credit will pay you back. I'll give you an example. A way you can make money just from having great credit is selling trade lines. So I'll give you an example. Let's say you get, you know, 60, 70, $80,000 worth of open credit cards, right? Once you have those credit cards open, like let's say you get one credit card for 20,000, you know, one credit card for 25,000, you can have another credit card for like 15,000. You can sell authorized user accounts to other people for money. Like let's say, you know, you have somebody who's trying to build their credit up, but because you already have your credit established, you can sell that person two, three authorized user accounts for like 300, $200, $400 even depending on how long you had the credit lines open even more potentially just to get on your credit the thing is they won't have access to any of the money you can make it so they won't get a credit card that they can use so they'll never be able to spend any money from your account but it'll report on their credit report and all you have to do is leave them up there for 30 to 60 days at the very most after those 30 to 60 days, you can take them off of your uh, card and do it again with somebody else. You could probably do that with like three or four people, even more potentially. I wouldn't recommend you do too many more, but you could do that with three or four people at a time. So every two months, you can collect that money from various people to help them establish their credit. That could be an extra couple thousand dollars every few months most people they think that investing in their credit might cost too much but you're losing so much money by not having your credit established properly that's just one way you can make money off of uh having great credit another easy thing to do is once you get your business credit lines established you can leverage your business credit lines for cash flow i'll give you an example let's say you have let's just say you got a fifty thousand dollar credit line right the, look, your business credit lines typically can be a lot bigger than some of your personal lines. So you can use that 50,000 to earn you cash flow. Let's say you invest that money into like cryptocurrency. I'm just giving you that as an example. Obviously cryptocurrency is volatile. I'm not saying this is not investment advice, but let's say you buy a cryptocurrency with like 40,000 of credit lines, right? And then that cryptocurrency spikes up or it goes through the roof. And now the crypto is worth, you know, uh, 80,000, 90,000. You can take however much you invested into the crypto out of the crypto, pay the card back, it'll be a zero balance, and then you still got the difference in crypto that it that it appreciated. That's just an example. Like obviously, you want to make sure you do your research and educate yourself on anything you invest in before you invest into anything. But it's just critical that you invest into your credit because you'll have the ability to use other people's money for income generating cash flow like that's really what it comes to like that's that's the most critical part so when people say they can't afford to establish their credit or they can't afford to do the things that's necessary to have their credit where it needs to be that just lets me know that they don't know any of the secrets when it comes to generating income because 
if I told you right now you can invest 5,000 and start making six figures, who would say I, I can't afford the 5,000? That's crazy. Right? I don't care what you got to borrow with. I don't care what you have to do because once you get the six figures, you got enough money to do whatever it is you need to do. Right? You just got to keep being smart. That's the video from Shaq the Shark. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and share this video. Comment and let me know how much money would you like to have in established open credit lines. Like, put it in the comments and I'm gonna definitely read them. You know, I'm gonna respond to a few of you guys. Make sure that you, you share this video with anybody who trying to take their life to the next level regarding credit because the reality is credit is life changing. Like you could do a lot of stuff with it. And uh, yeah, that's it. We out of here.